welcome to 2017 PIS Golden Bell Challenge. We're on the semifinals and we only have two contestants left. First of all, number 34, Mr. Seikhan Kim. Yay! And now, it's number 61, Ms. Stella Yay! Now, here goes the question. First question, what is one plus one? One, two, three. Please raise your board high. Window and Kiyomi? Interesting. Stella, why is it a window? Can you explain? Uh, well, so one plus one equals window. Mm, interesting. How about you say, why is it a cutie? Uh, one plus one is Kiyomi. <laughs> oh, that was very cute. Well, unfortunately, the answer was two. Should we give them one more chance? Yes! yes. Okay, then please remain in your seats. Here goes the next question. What is the summation of all the natural numbers? Okay, one, two, three. Please raise your board high. Stella, infinite? Yeah. One plus two plus three plus four plus blah blah blah. It's infinite. Isn't it? They call that. Oh. Unfortunately, you're wrong, Stella. What? How about using a Kiyomi again? How is it Kiyomi? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is infinite. Kiyomi! <laughs> well, guys, unfortunately, you guys are both wrong. The answer is, don't be surprised, is negative 1 over 12. What? I'll tell you. Follow me. Okay? Okay, so now I'll explain. What we're gonna get, want to get is summation of all natural numbers, and we'll call that S. So S equals one plus two plus three plus four to the infinity. Now we're now we're gonna call S one. One minus one plus one minus one plus one, and this is equal to one half. And now we're gonna make S two, which is one minus two plus three minus four to the infinity. Now what we're gonna do is make two S two, meaning that add. S2 twice. So 1 minus 2 plus 4 minus. And we're going to add one more S2, but in this case, we're going to shift it a little bit so that it's 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 to the infinity. Now, if you do the addition, it becomes 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1, which is the same as S. So this shows that. 2s2 equals s1, meaning that 2s2 is equal to 1 half, which derives that s2 is equal to 1 fourth. So now I'm going to erase this equation and come up with a new equation. write it as 4, we can factor out 4 and write it also as s minus s2 equals 4 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Now, isn't, to the, to the infinity. isn't this familiar? Yes, this is s. So, mm, so we can say that s minus s2 is equivalent to 4s. Now, if we move s to the this side, it means negative s2 is equal to 3s because we subtract s from both sides. And now we've got that uh, s2 is equal to 1 over 4, that we can say that negative 1 over 4 is equal to 3s. And now if we um, divide 3 from both sides, it becomes, it shows s equals to negative 1 tall. And that is the summation of all natural numbers. Oh. This can be applied in real life. How? So, string theory. Oh. Do you have string? Yeah. Oh yeah, string theory. So, when doing math in quantum level, we often have to calculate two massive or two small numbers, where, classic, where classical mathematics cannot be applied. Uh, we also have to encounter calculating infinite numbers, and in those cases, we can apply this concept. Wow, that's interesting. Can it also be applied to actual science? Oh, of course! Uh, using the string theory, there is a slight chance of saying that time travel is possible. <laughs> if there is a light and a mirror that would infinitely reflect light, it would generate a 
curvature that would go through the portal, uh, making the light infinitely oh, large. It's time to go, sadly. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye bye. Alright, guys, the answer is negative one over twelve. What? <laughs> Oh, you mean it's in theory? Yeah, that one. So, when doing math in quantum level, we often have to calculate two methods. <laughs>